Hi guys, I'm Patrick Pomerleau from Nest Immersion. So today I will show you a bit more detail, details uh, how to start with uh, Nest Map with a basic uh, configuration. So um, I'm inside a small uh, 3 meter dome right now to show you um, the basic of how to start if you never used Nest Map before. So the first thing to do is uh, to be sure that all projectors cover uh, the full screen. So behind me you see uh, the three projectors all around the dome and they all project from the horizon up to the ceiling. You can see there's a small overlap here, right here, but it's enough to, to be mapped with, uh, with Nest Map. So this is the first thing and to show you this um, this mapping, if they fill or not, the easiest way is to just change the background color in Windows Desktop to something other than black, and then without any um, any software running, you see the desktop Windows Desktop in the background. So this is color the um, the projector's output. Um, personally, we use uh, for today. Um, I use my laptop and um, Datapad FX4 to split the 4K output into 4 HD output. Even if I have only three projectors, um, Nesnap will just skip the last one uh, during the calibration, so it's okay. And today we will use a brand new uh, Kodak PixPro Orbit 360 4K uh, from the box. There's some setting to do with it before to use it, so I will show you how to do it uh, right now. So we um, we personally love this camera because it's um, it's pretty cheap and um, they have a very very big um, sensor to get a lot of um, details during the, the calibration. Um, the this camera have two cams, one smaller and one bigger. The smaller is a um, sixteen nine uh, format four K uh, sensors. We will not use this part, but the other uh, other camera is um, a 3.6K per 3.6K square sensors. This make a very big uh, image and details to calibrate, and the lens is uh, three, so 235 degrees um, vertically, so you can cover um, more than your uh, 180 degrees dome. It's a good camera to um, to calibrate even smaller dome and bigger dome like uh, 20 meters uh, with uh, 8 or 10 projectors. I don't recommend this camera if you want to do uh, black level uh, calibration, but uh, for geometric and blend it's a, it's a perfect uh, nice to have camera. This one is brand new from out of the box. So the first thing to do is to um, open it and change the USB mode to uh, webcam instead of uh, mass storage. So the first thing we do is power it up. I 
press a small button here. I don't know if you can see it, but now it's power up and ask for a date. We just press the, the big red button to just enter just any default. So now it said there's no card. We don't mind because we don't need card. Um, then for the rest, there's two other buttons on the side. The one is for Wi-Fi. We don't use it, but the top here is the, the menu. So we press it once and now we are in the menu. So we, we still use the two side button as an arrow, tap and down. So I go down in the menu until I see the small gear, the red button to enter the menu. Then now I go down up to mass storage. This is the USB mode. I just press the red button to enter. And now I have two choice. Mass storage or said webcam. So I will accept this one. So I will press the red button. So now it's webcam as default mode for USB. So now uh, the only thing we have to do is just exit the menu. So I scroll down. Yeah. Scroll down up to exit. And press the red button. Now the camera is ready. So now we, we are ready to use it as camera. So it comes with um, a USB cable. It's a USB 2. So after that, if you have a long run to do, you just have to find a long USB 2 uh, cable. If you need to go up to 10 meters, there's active cable. The permit to, to make this distance easily. Okay, it's connected. And the other things that you have to think about it is to um, the screw to fix it is made to when you put it down on the on the tripod, it's um, the camera will use just facing front, but we want to use it upward. So you need the tripod that you can place a screw on the side at ninety degrees, and there's uh, nothing uh, obstruct the, the vision of the camera. So once the camera is connected to the USB port, the the orange light will flash. It means that uh, the battery is charging using the USB port. This is a good thing because uh, the USB power is not enough to keep the camera open just with the power of the USB. So it will drain the battery when operating. But uh, when you finish to calibrate, you just power off the camera and put it on the side and uh, keep it connected to USB and will fully charge during the time you don't use it To be ready to for for the next time. So now I'm ready to use it. So I power on the camera Then I just install a new um, Nest map demo on my personal laptop and this um, You should see the camera list should see uh, here Harbit 4K. Um, you can press the active webcam preview, and the image is black. Why? So I said that the CCD sensor is uh, 3.6K. This is not the case. So it's used the wrong camera now. To fix that, we will stop the camera. We'll go in the menus and in calibration tab. Instead of default uh, resolution, we'll select the resolution of the the big camera. So we will change, and for the dark detection, I will put it in the maximum because um, it's 
pretty noisy image, so this will give a best detection with at the center of the uh, calibration dot. So nice done. If you check again the camera, and voila! Now we have the full uh, camera resolution, and we can see image of the um, the camera here. So I see I'm not perfectly uh, in the center, so we'll just move a bit the camera. Uh, the next thing I recommend to do is to check here with a right click on this button and say show dots. So this permit to show all the calibration that we will use for the calibration. And this is an important step because um, <clears throat> for small dome like this, um, Sometimes there's some dots that are just like this one. This one is, is cut in half by the, um, the horizon of the, um, of the dome. So it will think during the calibration that the center of this dot is not here, as it should be, but here, a bit higher. So you, you will see distortion near the horizon. So to, to fix that, one thing to do is to take your mouse here, you can see, and you just go just go off the monitors and now that your mouse should appear somewhere here on the projectors. So you just move your mouse up to the calibration you want to remove. If this one is okay, this one is not because it's on the wall. So I just click on it and turn red. So by turning red, it means that it will not be used during the calibration. So I do that for others, all other dots. Even those is until it's just perfectly complete, like this, you keep it, and re you remove all the others. This one is cut by the, uh, the camera. So now, all um, unnecessary dots is removed. Uh, now I'll go back to to the main screen, and just to show you um, the grid now, it's clearly not uh, calibrate. So now what we have to do is to press auto calib. So now we try to calibrate the projector 4, but there is no projector 4, so we just try uh, 4 times and just it will skip it. Okay, so now we just com finish compute the blend automatically based on the calibration of the geometry. And this is the result for the full dome. We'll inspect to be sure all lines are straight and not distorted. It looks pretty good. 
but now you see that uh, the grid um, is not up to the horizon it means it goes up to uh, here up to 10 degrees and we cannot see further everything can be changed in post calibration because it's a uh, it's based on the what the camera see and if the camera um, lens angle is bigger than the dome itself um, it will extend the grid so to change that there's a few uh, transform we can do um, just after the calibration to do that just um, to have a reminder just pass your mouse in the preview section it will give you a hint about what you can do about transformation so the first thing is to use the, use the keyboard arrow to to fix um, the center of the dome now you can use the mouse scroll to rotate the dome or you can use control mouse wheel zoom in now the next step is to um, okay, adjust the blend so um, the blend should be already okay but uh, you can always fine-tune a little bit um, the, the, some few parameters so to do that I recommend to right click uh, on the grid button and choose white or gray color now it's supposed to be uh, the most uniform as possible but now you see that there's difference between single predictors and blend the blend is more bright than the predictor itself so how to change that is to change the gamma value by default gamma predictor should be around 2.2 but uh, it could happen that your uh, predictor have another gamma so we can just change it until you see that um, you cannot see big difference between blend or not blend now it's too much not too much um, you see the corner here are more bright than um, the center of the blend so inside the blend is 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 changing from from okay to too bright. The, the reason of this is because the, um, the pixel size is, uh, is getting smaller in the corner of the predictors, uh, more brighter, there's more concentration of light. So there's a small slider for this to, to attenuate the smaller pixel to get um, more uniform blend. So you just put it the max to see the effect and now the the corner of the blend is much more uniform with uh, with the center so that's it if you want to use it uh, anything using spout could be uh, nesdrop for example and just press spout play And that's it. Now we add it in the dome. So that's it. I hope you will have fun with uh, with Mass Map. Enjoy.